So I was recently on only one Finity forum looking at how people mask off projects and somebody said that they used shelf liner from Walmart. So I figured I'd pick some of this up. Everybody else swore by Aura Mask. So Aura Mask, this is $39. This was a little bit less than $6. And honestly, it sounds like this is a really good option. Today, I'm just gonna be using both over top of a piece of walnut that I have pre-finished one section of it and left raw for the other just to see if there's any differences. I'm gonna put those to the test and do my first V-bit carve. So really excited about seeing how that turns out. Let's jump right into it. Is a pretty clear winner. All right, so I made some mistakes. Uh, obviously, do not use a upcut bit with this because it just rips it up. My other mistake was using a piece of walnut that was not completely flat. As you see over here, this is meant to say uh, current subscriber count, and that didn't didn't go very well. So what I'm going to do is get a razor blade, clean this up a little bit, and then go throw some paint on it. See what we can see. I had a spray paint, but for this, I wanted to see if flooding it would get out of the way or not.
So at the very start of this, I was setting out to prove that the Aura Mask was inferior, uh, purely because it was more expensive. During the carve, the Aura Mask did considerably better. It had less fraying off to the sides, which made me think that painting it would be easier. But once we got to the finish section, it left a lot of residue behind, which is pretty sticky. Um, and it did not on the shelf liner on this side. At first, as I was peeling it up, I thought, oh, it's because I finished it that morning and it just only had about five hours to cure and didn't have enough cure time. But the shelf liner did fine, didn't leave any kind of residue. The shelf liner, as I was cutting it, granted with an upcut bit, but still, as I was cutting it, it lifted up a whole lot more, leaving sections like this O in the center of the A that didn't even have masking on it at all that I had just painted. Obviously, I'm going to be sanding this down and then finishing it. I'm not going to fault this on the Aura Mask. That was totally my CNC in the way that I had picked the font and set up the program. Honestly, for Aura Mask being almost five times more expensive than the shelf liner that you can just pick up at Walmart, I don't know if it's five times better. I do think it is better, but I don't know if it's five times better. If this was a commission piece, somebody was paying me to make this, I don't think either one would really matter. Either way, I'm painting it, and then I'm gonna be taking the time to sand it and then touching up spots if need be. When I first saw on the forums that people were talking about shelf liner, I was like, boom, that is the answer. Honestly, there's a, not a ton of difference between the two, at least in my perspective, five times more. I don't think it's five times better of a product. Do I think it is a better product? Yes, five times better, not so much. So yeah, if you wanna comment down below or like or subscribe or whatever you want, I will do my best to answer any questions that you have. And until then, I will see you next time. This is why you should not use a upcut bit on plywood.